going on, guys? Yo, what's up? What's up, man? We live? Yes, we are. All right, awesome. Uh, thank you for taking the time to do this with me. No problem, man. I got nothing else to do right now. I just listen to a bunch of shit and yeah, I'm ready to talk. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, <clears throat> let's start with a little bit about yourself. Just tell tell us a little bit about your story, who you are, what you do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, uh, my name is Michael Carlucci. Um, I am in the uh, flipping industry now, like the business uh, side of things. Um, but uh, I used to be in the fitness industry, and I don't, I didn't really like it. I kind of lost interest in it. I still like bodybuilding and stuff like that, but nobody wanted to hear what I had to say, and uh, I switched over to flipping. Um, uh, like a few months ago and like uh i gathered a lot of uh, attention on social media especially tiktok and i uh went into communities like uh twitter and instagram and stuff like that and a lot more a lot more people uh want to talk to me than when i was uh, in the fitness industry basically so yeah i'm 16 years old or 17 years old so okay so what made you want to start getting into flipping to begin with uh well you know obviously it's gary v you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. who, who doesn't love gary v no i saw his videos and i i uh, decided to list a pair of air jordans in my house and uh that shit sold and i i, I freaked out because i was like yo this is possible like this is wild like i like i i saw gary v do it and like I, I didn't i didn't think that like the normal person could do it you know what i'm saying but then like i just started listing everything in my house and the stuff started selling and selling and selling and I started going to like thrift stores and stuff like that, and it actually works. Okay. And so, what do you what are you currently making right now? If you don't mind me asking, what like, right what's now? your um, monthly income from this? Oh, this is, this fluctuates a lot. Like, I, I I can't give you an exact number, but I would have to say like uh, two thousand two thousand five hundred dollars a month uh, from flipping, basically on eBay. Yeah, you, you said two thousand. Two thousand two thousand five hundred flipping on eBay. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. And so, what are you doing with this money as a seventeen-year-old? Uh, I I don't use it for dumb shit. Like I, um, I basically just like switch my entire mindset to, uh, just not buying anything dumb. Like I will only spend that money on you know buying things to sell. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I that's all I do. <laughs> okay. And so, how much how much time like a week do you spend doing this? Um, I, like, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, if I could work 16 hours a day, uh, I would, but there's school, so that's the only six hours that I'm not working. And every other time you're, you spend your time sourcing and going to thrift shops and stuff like that? Yes, that's it. What are your, what are your tips, biggest tips you got um, for how to do this? My biggest, my biggest tips, uh, well, my biggest tips are not to overcomplicate this because, like, uh, you you could walk in and don't. Look, I, I don't think that people should be looking for specific things. Uh, I think that they should just walk in and look up everything and look up on the uh, sold and completed listings uh, section on eBay just to see what it's worth because you never know what you're gonna come, what you're gonna come across uh, because you might walk past a teddy bear like you might go into a thrift store looking for something you know, you know specific and then you don't find that thing and then you walk right past the, like a teddy bear. I use this example in one of my videos. You may walk past a vintage teddy bear that's worth like five hundred dollars, something like that. You would never know it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Any other tips that you got? Any other tips? Mm. My yes. Uh, I think that people should be. Um, I think to get to the, the best results uh, with eBay and actually make sales, I think that people should copy what uh, is already working. So if uh, someone gets an item and they want to list it on eBay, I think that they should go to the sold and completed listing section and see which one has sold the most recently, copy their title and their description, and uh, yeah. Okay, so and the, their price. Kind of guide us through exactly what you do. So you're you're say someone wants to start getting into flipping right now. What is their first step? First step is to download the eBay app. Okay, and then where do they go from there? Uh, list all the dumb shit in your house. Okay, so you, you list the stuff around your house before you go into like Goodwill and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, like so people have so much stupid shit in their house. Like I did, <laughs> I, I basically, I have like a lot of clothes in my house, but everything um, other than that, I listed on eBay and it all sold. Okay. Yeah. So once they once they get a couple of sales from the stuff around their house, 
What are the best yeah, places to look once for? Once they sell everything around their house because, it, like, people bullshit. They want to keep their little, like, you know, Supreme shirts and stuff like that. Uh, they sh- once they list all that stuff, they should go and, get, you know, start sourcing for products. Okay. And where where do you recommend people start for sourcing? Uh, you know, yeah, uh, uh, I, I don't know if you watched my uh, story before, but uh, I just went to Plato's Closet, and that's the best thrift store I've ever seen in my life. I, people told me that it was expensive, but I found so much good shit there. Like, it's it's like streetwear. Plato's Closet is streetwear. So, like, you know, that's what people want, you know? On mm-hmm. eBay, people buy that stuff. Like, like Nike shoes and stuff like that. Jordans, all that stuff. And that's what they sell. It's like a, a hype beast, like, uh, thrift store. So, it's awesome. So, uh, like, you know, like, I wouldn't recommend to go to, like, retail stores like Marshalls when you're just starting uh, with flipping because on eBay you can't really find anything at Marshalls unless it's, like, really, like, uh, like on good clearance, like, 50% off clearance or something like that. Like, you could do that for Amazon, but eBay, I would definitely stick to garage sales and thrift stores and stuff like that. Okay, so you said garage sales. How much, yeah. of, your, how much of your stuff comes from garage sales? Because Gary Vee pushes that a lot. Gary pushes yeah, yeah. like go to the garage sale, go to the free section on Craigslist and stuff like that. Yeah, I haven't gone to the, the free section on Craigslist yet, but uh, garage sales are amazing because people don't know the, the uh, what what their items are worth, so they they just put that stuff out there and they don't even think about it. Like you could negotiate down so easily. Like I, I used to be scared of negotiating because I didn't want to like uh, like you know get like annoy people kind of. But then I started negotiating, and people dropped the price so, so fast. Like, you could ask for $20 on a $50 item, and they will do it most of the time. Right. Anything to just kind of get rid of whatever they're trying to sell. Yeah, basically. So you follow that principle of, like, he was asking for 50 didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. and so you go to the thrift store. You look at the items. Like, how do you know what you want to buy? How do you yeah, know what's a good item, what's not a good item? As I, as I said before, I literally just look up everything, everything. Like if there's like a little like a spoon or something that looks like cool or like, you know, different, unique, then I'll look it up. I'll, I'll try and find it online. You know, I'll just go in this whole new good, uh, listing section and see if it's there. If it's not there, then I won't buy it. If it's there, then, you know, I'll buy it. Is there anything in particular that you um, sell the most? Like, do you sell the most shoes? Do you sell the most antiques, toys? What's the thing that you sell the most? I mostly sold clothes. Okay. Clothes, uh, but certain types of clothes. A lot of clothes aren't worth anything, so like I wouldn't recommend like sourcing just from random ass clothes. You gotta look this stuff up. You know, I, I used to have a lot of gym shark in my house, and I would list that stuff at one o'clock in the morning, and people would buy it instantly. I was underpricing it a lot, so like you know, clothes. Certain clothes are very good. Okay. Okay. And so once you've made the sale, someone buys it off of you, what's the next step? Uh, I just ship it out. I sh- like, you, you want to ship it out as fast as possible. Like, I'm talking like lightning fast because like you'll get a good review first off. And, you know, you know like if the faster you get it out, the more likely that customer is to come back. Like they will like save your eBay store or whatever. And yeah, you just want to ship it out extremely, extremely fast. And you want to make sure that the item is like carefully packaged. You don't want any, any like broken items or anything like that, because that would suck because then you got to, you know, give them a refund and stuff like that. You're risking a bad review because once you risk a bad review, you don't want bad reviews because they just mess up your your entire reputation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like people look at that stuff. Like that's extremely important. <clears throat> okay, and then um, what do you ship by? Do you ship like pri- priority, flat rate, or do you? I, I use tireship.com. Okay, and what it's, is that? It's the best. It's so it's so cheap. Like 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 let's say you want to ship out a shirt, a t-shirt, right? Mm-hmm. It, at the you, at the post office, if you just like write the address on it, it's like seven dollars and eighty five cents, right? So. If you go on pirate ship and you put it in like a small bag or something like that, it's only like two dollars and sixty six cents, three dollars and sixty six cents, something like that. Like it saves so much money, and you'll actually make money on shipping. So yeah. All right, and so how does how does that work? Do you still have to take it to the post office or what? How does that? Yeah, you just you literally just like print out the label, and the thing about pirate ship is they they import your eBay uh, orders for you. So you, you don't have to do like any of the work. Just click it and you enter the weight and dimensions and you buy the label, print it, uh, put it on and drop it off at the post office. That's it. Okay. And you said that was pirate ship? 
deskpirateship.com. Okay, okay. Um, what's your favorite thing about what you're doing? My favorite thing about what I'm doing is that I don't have to work a, a, a real job because, like, beforehand, uh, I, I literally worked uh, three jobs at gyms, and I got fired from two of them. One place shut down. Uh, I was the worst employee because I just suck at jobs. It's uh, like uh, when I found out that I could literally just make money selling stuff and and that I was actually good at it, I, I, I just feel blessed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> How did I have you... the work ethic to actually do it. Yeah. How did you find out about Gary Vee? Uh, I saw one of his videos and uh, I could relate to one of his, uh, he was talking about like college and stuff like that and how you don't actually need to go and how, you know, society is, is wrong. And, you know, I started following him from there. Like I actually sent the video to my mom because I cared about my mom's opinion at the time. Now I don't give a shit, but, uh, yeah, that's basically how. (laughs) That's funny. So you're a 17 year old making $2,500. How do you not let that get yeah, to your head? I, I don't know about 2,500, 2,000. Okay, that. okay, 2,000, yeah. okay. Mr. Yeah. Humble over here. But uh, yeah. how, do you, how do you not let that get to your head? Uh, you, you know, it, it took a lot of practicing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I, I don't know, you, over time, you just like start to stop. Like, I, I just consume good content all day, like, it, like pod, in podcast form. Like, I, can, I watch the, uh, I listen to the uh, Gary Vee audio experience. It's absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I basically put that in my ears all day and I slowly just stopped caring about people's opinions. Okay, so realistically here, you're 17 years old, a week. Try to estimate how much time you're actually spending into this into this business. Uh, you know, you know, I there's hours that like I spend a lot of time doing dumb shit that I really shouldn't be, and I'm trying to fix it. Like I'd say, like three hours a day, I'm just doing some dumb shit, like watching Doctor Phil on YouTube or something like that. Mm. I need to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just like I, I don't know how much hours exactly, but I am working a ton. But I need to eliminate those three hours a day that I'm doing dumb shit. Okay. Do you think this is a business module that anyone can do? Uh, any, like, you know, I, I, this is, like, the part that I'm very passionate about, like, getting people to actually do this. Like, uh, every single person that comes up to me, every single one, I, I haven't had one person that actually executed on doing this. Like, kids at school literally come up to me, and they're like, Mike, how do I do this? I, w- I want to do this like, right now. And I'm like, I give them everything. You know what I'm saying? I give them all the information that I have on this like flipping thing. And you know, they're like, Yo, Mike, I'm gonna go to a thrift store after school. And like, they will only go if they're with me. Like, they want to like impress me. Right. So, yeah. So like, if, if I don't go with them, they won't go, and they will never do it. And if they do go, that's the only time they will ever go. I haven't met one person in like in real life that actually executed on it. I've met people on Instagram that have actually executed on it. Like people uh, followed what I was saying on my TikTok and stuff like that. And they said that they made like $300 a, in a single week on their first week. Like, that's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, so you mentioned TikTok. Tell me a little bit about that. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, you I, have like 20,000 followers. I, I, so Yeah, I, I love the attention on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, And it, it fits my age group too. So like, I'm trying to reach a bunch of teens that want to, like, you know, that work these shitty jobs and they're, they're complaining about it and how they can change that. They can change their mom bitching to them um, if they just make the simple switch to actually trying to make money uh, using these platforms that are literally for free. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. What platforms are you selling on? Uh, uh, eBay, Grilled, Poshmark. Shit, this is hard. Mercari, uh, yo, shit, I, I can't think, there's like seven of them. Wow, you're know. on seven different platforms. Yeah, I, Do you list the I, same I things on like every platform? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 basically, I just copied the title and the description for every single thing. Uh, the one platform that uh, I think that is really killing it right now is uh, Grailed, and and uh, I think even bigger is Poshmark. Poshmark. 78% of women, I looked at this, this up on Facebook uh, Audience Insights yesterday. 
78 percent of poshmark is actually women and women buy dumb shit like every single day they they need that shirt for their their little you know their kid they need that that dress for them you know what i'm saying they just spend so much money on dumb shit and if you source products uh uh in the women's category then you could make a lot of money doing that you know what i'm saying like i i, I just started it uh today actually and i got a few things so yeah i'm gonna post my poshmark and hopefully to sell yeah so Let's go back to TikTok for a little bit. What was kind of like, did you have like a strategy as to how you were going to post your content or? No, dude, I, I, I just I just started talking about flipping and posting and like those, having those little pop-ups. You know those little pop-ups that you do? The things that pop up on the screen? Yeah. yeah that, that had a huge impact on what I did on TikTok. Like I think I, the first video that I could blow up mine, that has like 500,000 views now. Um, it, it, I was talking about how I get a bunch of like wrenches from a garage sale or something like that. I don't know if you saw that. But um, yeah, I, I put these little pop ups and it had a huge impact on the uh, overall uh, how how it did. What's what do you, so? Do you have like a strategy now for TikTok? Like, are you posting a certain no, amount? No, dude, or? I just post. I just post. Like, I try. I try to test different things out. Uh, but yeah, right now I just post. What's what's your most viewed uh video on TikTok? Ah, this is actually a funny story, bro. I, I was just riding around on my little like ho- hoverboard thing, like around my block. You know what I'm saying? And I saw like a sewer, you know, like a sewer in the ground. Yeah. And I walked up to it and I took out my phone. And I was like, "Yo, Pennywise, you in there, bro?" And, I, and then I was like, "Yo, Pennywise, come out!" And then I was like, "Yo, the hype, the hype is for nothing. Uh, he's not real or something like that." It got like eight hundred thousand views now. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's so stupid, but it's amazing. Yeah, and, and that's – it's funny because it has nothing to do with, like, your content, but yet it's still bringing people to your page that are going to look yeah, at your yeah, other content. Yeah, because, because who, who wouldn't want to, like, learn how to make money, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Who, who wouldn't want to? Like that, I, I feel like that can be, like, directed toward everybody, you know what I'm saying? Not just, like, people in this industry. I think that everybody can get into this if they have the work ethic, and I think that a lot of people will still follow even if they don't have the work ethic. True. That's true. Yeah. What are you uh what are you hoping to get out of this? What's your ultimate goal? Dude, I I want to fucking do a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff on my mind. Like I, in in a year like I'm moving to Jacksonville, Florida or something like that with a few roommates and stuff like that and we're just going to grind. So like, you know, I am trying to get my dropshipping store uh off the ground. Like uh, I I heard a lot of people say that they spend like uh they they have spent like thousands of dollars before they actually made their first sale and i'm probably gonna be one of those people because i haven't even got my first sale and you know i've spent uh, a little bit of money on facebook ads so far but yeah uh, i'm hoping to uh one day also you know build a real brand rather than just a drop shipping store and uh, i'm learning about uh, amazon fba drop shipping on there and yeah do you have like an idea of what you want your brand to be no i have no idea like i I, I, I kind of want to start like multiple brands, but I'm, I know that like I need to focus on one thing right now because like I don't want I don't want to overcomplicate things for myself. You know, I, I really want to start a fitness brand one day. I don't know if that's going to be the first brand that I start, but I really want to start like a fitness brand uh, and stuff like that. Like and you know, share, share the passion for that. Okay, are you on any other platforms other than just TikTok? Uh, yeah, I'm on like I post every day on on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. TikTok, Instagram. Uh, there's like, yeah, I post. I, I just started posting on podcasts. I post every day on YouTube. I basically just like post the same thing that I post on Instagram for my videos. And yeah, I'm on like seven, eight uh, different social media platforms. But yeah. And I'm assuming TikTok is your biggest one. Yeah. Yeah. For now, yeah. Yeah. What are you? Yeah, what are you doing? Is gonna be. What are you doing on LinkedIn? Because a lot of people have the impression that LinkedIn is very I, like professional and it's I, only for like executives. I can I be a hundred percent honest right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I, I don't talk to anybody on LinkedIn. I, I just like, literally, I, I posted like, I don't know, like thirty times, or, like 40, 50 times or something like that so far, and uh, I haven't gotten one like on my post. <laughs> uh, besides, besides um, this kid, this uh, one guy, uh, what's his name, Lambo Skirt on Twitter or something like that. He, yeah, he, he engaged with my content, but nobody else on on LinkedIn. <laughs> I can't seem to figure it out. Yeah, and yet you're still posting pretty much. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to nobody. Nobody. Same with Facebook. I literally talk to nobody. I just post. <laughs> and you, you post just to post at that point, right? 
Yeah, yeah, because like I don't know, maybe I'll I'll get a I'll post something, I'll get a bunch of like uh, fans or something like that, and then everybody wants to follow me on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. All right. Um, getting close to the end here. Is there any any piece of advice, anything you want to say to people that are that are gonna watch this and are interested in getting into flipping or want to make a little extra money on the side? Yeah, just just fucking do it. I mean, stop, don't come up to me and t- and tell me that you want to do this because I put it right in front of your face and I know that you're not gonna do it. So if you're watching this right now, I don't know where you're from. I don't know if you're from Utah. I don't know if you're from Colorado. Wherever the fuck. Just go to your local thrift store. Go to your local, you know, garage sale. If you have garage sales on a Saturday, just go and buy shit and look it up on eBay and sell that shit. Because I promise you that if you do this for the next like five weeks or something like that, you will see some success with it because you're gonna you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn about it. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna learn the the arbitrage between all these different platforms, and you're gonna literally just like. Uh, get better at it i don't know if you're going to be amazing at it like um like other people but you know you can definitely make money doing this if you put in the work okay so, all right mike well i appreciate the time thanks bro Th- thank you for thank you for taking time out of your day to do this with me and no uh i'll keep supporting you on tiktok i like pretty much all I of your videos i try yeah. to leave a comment i, I, I try like, to get I like your, your content too yeah i try to get your algorithm boosted up a little bit so yeah <laughs> But all right, dude, thank you for taking the time to do this, and I'll catch you later. I see you, bro. All right, man.